season which went for around three months it was my first in the national team and I had set a PB in fitness testing the day before and I was training for a series against Spain I fell over a stick a movement that I've done hundreds of times previously but instantly I knew that something was different and there was this deep almost internal feeling of pain and I tried to get up from the turf and I just knew straight away that I had ruptured my ACL and that was the start of a 14 month journey on the sidelines. I went through a really hard mental aspect initially when the injury occurred I was quite almost naive and um, I just didn't really understand what the injury itself and the rehab entailed and after the surgery I, I was quickly hit with a reality shock after I had to get assistance to dress myself and shower and I couldn't put on a pair of socks or move my hamstring and for me it was probably around two months when before the depression started setting in and um, yeah the feelings of waking up in the middle of the night and you feel so lonely and, and you question whether you're ever going to be able to play for your country again, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a great feeling. You think to yourself, did I prepare properly? Could I have you know, prevented this? Did I eat the right foods leading up to it? And I have this belief that everything happens for a reason, whether it's right or wrong. And for me, it was a really big opportunity last year to learn about how I deal with setbacks and also uh, a lot of the negative self-belief and, and self-doubt that I have. The injury has taught me that you have to trust the process. If somebody had told me the day after surgery that I would be playing back in my country 14 months later, I, I probably didn't believe them and at the time I, I didn't believe that I was physically capable of myself doing that and you need to remain hopeful and, and know that those small daily efforts that you invest and, and make a conscious decision every day to wake up and, and whether it's to try and you know, touch my toes initially was to try and get my knee to you know, 90 degrees flexion and then it became trying to learn how to re-walk again and then re-run and, and over time it's, it's those small increments that build up and um, eventually got me back to, to playing for my country. I wouldn't change it, no. And I'm still in the phase where I'm, I'm not fully back yet and, and for me it's a real struggle still because they say it takes around two to three years before you're fully back to your prior playing level um, before you got injured but I wouldn't change it it's part of sport <laughs> 